Today's chapter is operating systems. Whenever you purchase a computer or a mobile device, it comes with an operating system inst uh, installed in it. You might see, you might have noticed that the first screen that you see is the operating system. So operating system and those uh, applications installed, the tools, they are known as system software because they consist of all those programs that will uh, help in the operations of your computer or the, it will help in the operations of your mobile device, la tablet, laptop, anything that has an operating system with it. So operating system and other uh, related tools, they are known as the system software. These are the objectives of this chapter. So we will see the purpose of an operating system. We will see the startup process, how the uh, uh, operating system works, what are the different functionalities and how it works and how the operating system enables users to administer security, various features, etc. Okay, so operating system is a set of programs that coordinates all the activities on your computer or on your mobile device hardware so um, there are other applications as well that help you to perform maintenance type tasks that are usually related to uh, managing of the device for example if your computer or mobile runs out of memory what happens then uh, how your media is managed how the programs are being used by computers and mobile devices etc so most of the operating systems, whether they are of your mobile phone or your laptop or, uh, of, uh, or, or your desktop system, they include the similar functions that includes starting and shutdown of a computer or a mobile device or a laptop, whatever the device you are using. It provides you a user interface. It gives you the uh, capability to manage programs. It gives you the capability to manage the memory of the of the system that you are using. It helps you in coordinating the tasks. It helps you in configuring the devices that you are using with your computers. Then uh, it helps you to monitor the performance of your device. If the device performance gets uh, slow, so it helps you to check which device is, uh, which app is taking more memory so you can close it. Then it helps you in establishing an internet connection. Moreover, it provides you file management and other device or media related tasks. <clears throat> and it helps you to update operating system software as well. And some operating systems also allow you to control the network and administer the security on the network. Okay, so operating system can be run from a CD or a DVD, uh, DVD dri uh, DV optical drive or it, you can run it from a USB flash drive or any external hard drive. So in most cases, what happens that operating system resides inside your computer or mobile device. So on your desktop, you might have seen the device. Uh, one of the drive is uh, being reserved for it or you can use the same uh, drive for other uh, saving your files as well. So usually it is the C drive. So for example, it is installed on your hard drive in a laptop or a desktop in the C drive, whereas in mobile devices, the operating system resides on the firmware in the device. Uh, firmware, if you recall from chapter six, it is the uh, uh, it consists of ROM chips or the flash memory chips uh, that uh, consist of your operating system because you don't have to <clears throat> Uh, because it con consists of some permanent instructions, so uh, the operating system is being uh, ex is resides there. Okay, so these are various operating system functions, whether you are using a computer or you are using a mobile device, everything works with an operating system software. So regardless the model of your mobile, regardless the uh, design of your computer or the, uh, uh, sorry, not design, the company of your laptop, it may be an Apple product, it may be a Windows desktop system. It may be any system. Uh, they, it's, it will come with an operating system. And the, those operating system, whether it is of an Apple operating system or it is Android operating system or it's Windows operating system, they will provide you similar functions. So these functions include starting and shutting down of the computers and mobile devices, 
providing user interface etc so all of these things that we have discussed in the previous slide so operating systems are <clears throat> often run written uh, to run on specific types of computers um, based on their computing needs for example apple devices have a different operating system windows devices have different operating systems um, but usually the windows operating system is designed to be uh, run on uh, different types of uh, laptops computers of different companies so uh, uh, the main distinguishing thing is here is that uh, the server operating system and the single your desktop single operating system this is the difference uh, you use uh, the operating system at your home at as a single pc you ha may have you may be using a, a single operating server operating system single user operating system whereas at universities your servers they do not run the same operating system because those computers uh, uh, that is the servers they have some different computation tasks as compared to your single operating system uh, whereas tablet and laptop operating system they have the same features to turn uh, the devices on and off uh, uh, in order to conserve battery power whereas server it is always plugged in and it has to be turned on almost all the time uh, which means operating system um, would not need this power saving feature uh, whereas in your computers you might have seen that after some time your computers goes to sleep or uh, you have to uh, keep it active so you if you do not uh, work on it anymore so it will go in the sleep mode so the same type of computers may run different operating systems so it is also possible to run more than one operating system on the same computer so you can install uh, two operating systems on your uh, on your laptop or your desktop it is up to you <clears throat> uh, so the first uh, functionality of the operating system is the starting of the computers and mobile devices so if a computer or mobile device is off you press a power button to turn it on so this is the power button on a desktop this is a power button on a laptop on the uh, on where the keyboard uh, where the keys are and this is the power button on your smartphone so if a computer or mobile device uh, is off you use this power button to turn it on and you use it to turn it off you may also use it to restart it that is and also known as the, the rebooting so the computer or mobile device for a uh, for uh, can be uh, restarted or rebooted for a, for many reasons uh, so you will restart it when it gets slow you will restart it when you have to install a new program or uh, you have to update your software etc so you might notice that if when you restart it your device may uh, start functioning uh, better the performance gets better so <clears throat> when the uh, it, your device uh, sp uh, stops responding so what you do the shortest trick is that you restart it so this method you use to restart a computer device differs um, it base it is it depends on the devices depending upon the situation and depending upon the device that you are using so uh, and uh, in, even in mobile phones the way of uh, restarting and shutting it down is different uh, so you may be able to use operating system instructions by pressing the keys on the keyboard to start the computer or you might be required to respond to an on screen prompts that uh, restart the device after uh, a few minutes uh, you may get those notifications if you might have noticed so sometimes a computer or device they may restart automatically because they have to uh, install the uh, updates so this startup process is uh, similar for uh, all the devices it may it can be uh, a large device it can be a small device it can be a small computer or a mobile device this, the process is similar so uh, the process is uh, usually in uh, steps so when you turn on the computer mobile device the power supply uh, sends an electric current to the circuitry of the computer uh, the charge of the electricity will cause the processor chip to restart reset itself and it will find the firmware that will uh, contain this operating system startup instructions um, and then the startup process will execute some tests to check whether your uh, the, the hardware is intact 
the it will check the type of computer it will check the uh, uh, the wires if if it is a desktop it will check the buses are intact the system clock the adapter card the ram chips uh, if you recall from chapter 6 we have discussed this thing earlier uh, so it will check that uh, all the things are uh, at their place so if something is not at its place so it will uh, give you a beep sound which means that something is not uh, uh, fixed at its place okay it also includes making sure that these peripheral devices are connected properly and they are operating properly so it will give you an error message if they are not working properly uh, depending upon the severity of the problem so of okay so check that check that so if all those tests are successful all your wires are intact the ram if you have plugged a new ram and it is fixed properly and it will not give you an error message will not give you a beep message so when you will turn it on it will not give you an any error so the kernel of the operating system and other uh, frequently used instructions will be loaded uh, into uh, loaded from the uh, internal storage media that is uh, your hard drive to ram as we have already discussed this thing that everything is being loaded from uh, hard drive to uh, ram so the uh, operating system will uh, then start uh, it will it will start up and it will maintain the internal clock it will run the programs it will assign the resources any resources any uh, uh, resources to open up the uh, or to use the computer so uh in other parts of the operating system uh, will uh, whatever is not required it will uh, uh, it will not be it will not start whereas those instructions that are required uh, they will uh, they will start up and the non resident instructions will remain on the storage medium until they are needed so uh, then uh, the operating system in memory will then take control of computer and mobile device and it will load all the system configuration information and the operating system will verify that the person attempting to use the computer or mobile device is a user that is by using your username and password credentials uh, on the startup and finally the user interface will appear after you enter the login password Uh, and then the startup applications will open uh, for example uh, if you have installed ms teams it will open up if you install skype it will open up the antivirus program will run all the startup applications they will run uh, and so is the case so when you restart a computer it is known as uh, a, a warm boot and if you um, start a system from scratch it is known as cold boot so cold boot is the process of starting a computer at first when it was powered off and warm boot is a process of restarting a computer <clears throat> so warm boot is definitely faster than cold boot because it will skip those uh, um, checking of the testing of system wires because uh, you restarted the system so it knows that it has recently being shut, uh, restarted okay so uh, you might have noticed that your operating system has various power options uh, when you want to shut it down so you have seen it has it it has the option of shutting it down power, that is power off or restart um, sleep hibernate uh, etc uh, so uh, uh, we we know about the shutdown mode we know about the restart mode now we have the re, uh, hibernate and the sleep mode so both the uh, modes are designed to save time when you have to resume work on your computer but there is a slight difference this sleep mode will save any open documents running programs or apps to ram Uh, uh, it will turn off all the unneeded functions and it will place the computer in a low power state whereas in hibernate mode saves all the open documents and running programs and apps to internal hard drive before removing power from the computer and device so now if you, even if you remove the power or, uh, power from the system it will uh, it will you will not lose any data 